Good everyone. My name is Cletus Sobudo. I want to do this one. The importance of protection work. When I say protection, I'm talking about general protection work as a person. You see, most of us fail to understand that or to realize that the world we are living in is a very powerful and mystical place. I don't know if you have heard this before. As above, so beneath. I don't know if you've heard that word before. You see, as we mean for this life like this, um, according to statistics or what is it called, they say uh, we're about uh, is this seven billions or what, whatever population, the whole world. But I can tell you that in the spiritual realm, it is more populated than physically. And if you think that most of you who are who will sometimes think that dying is the next option for you to go and rest, let me tell you this for free. Do you know that there are some spirits who are in bondage, who are still looking for solution to free themselves like yourself? Do you know that? Do you know that there are some spirits who are, there are some robbers, robber spirit, there are some thieves in the spirit realm. Also, like it is physically, just as if your house is not protected, if you are not protected, when thieves or armed robbers are passing, they can easily come to your house, they can easily come to you and rob you of your belonging, take your belongings from you. That is how it is spiritually also. That is why the importance of protection can never be overemphasized. So therefore, what am I saying? Protect yourself. And uh, most of you, I don't know your kind of, your system of belief. If, for example, somebody can stay millions of miles away or thousands of miles away and read your future, your present, your past for you. I'm talking about consultation, alpha reading or whatever you know it to be accurately. Do you think that such person also cannot work for you to solve those issues or those problems that person foresaw during the consultation, during the, the reading, during the alpha. I want you to think. And also, I want you to understand that if you are not protected as a person, there are some spirits who are wandering about. They can easily come to you steal what belongs to you, steal your glory, take your crown of glory, your destiny, whatever it is that belongs to you. And at the end of the day, this our so-called spiritual is so full everywhere today. They will start telling you, your problem is from your family, your problem is from this and from that. The most annoying part of it is those of you who are into this work and you are calling names, telling some people that their problem is their mother and their father. If at all you find out that the problem of that person is from the mother or the father, there is a way you can handle it without telling them directly that this is your source of your problem. Because by telling them that it is your mother, it is your father, you have added more to their problems rather than helping them to solve it. Do you know how you added to their problems? Telling them that their mother is their problem, their father is their problem, is their father is a witch or their mother is a witch, you have added more to their problems by telling them those things. 
now they will start reacting negatively physically toward their parents or their mother or their father and at the end of the day they will start punishing the the mother or the father at the end of the day the woman the mother or the father will discover that this person is doing something that is not supposed to do toward me if that person have not done something like that before the person will start generating hatred for that the person and start if at all the person is, or is truly a witch or a wizard the person will start manipulating things against that person will make things harder for that person than it used to be before so be careful when you tell people that your mother is the cause of your problem your father is the cause of your problem there are ways we do such work without even telling the person that it is your mother or it is your father there are things you can do for yourself or for the person so that at the end of the day the if if, the, if it is the mother or the father the father or the mother will now know that he or she don't have power over the child again he or she don't have the right over the child again through your own work if you truly know what to do to help that person help the person rather than announcing to them that it is your mother it is your father there are ways you can do these things and there are some people whose glory have been stolen outside unknown to them but they are using it to face their uncle their stepmother their stepfather their mother and their father at home without knowing where their problem is coming from if you do not find out deeply you cannot know this there are some people that they will come to me for a consultation it will take me like a week plus before i will respond to them some of them will get angry and start saying different things i will not respond to them because i know what i'm doing you know why i will check more than two three times if their consultation is very confusing to me i'll come down and wait and recheck again and recheck again for like two three times to confirm what i'm checking what i'm seeing before i'll reply them so don't rush your consultation as a spiritualist, as a seer. Don't rush anything. Be careful with the way you handle these things. Because some of us, let me say us, some of you who are claiming uh, uh, this spiritualist, this, that, that, and that, you are causing more problems to these innocent people who are looking for solution to their problem rather than helping them. If you can understand what i'm saying and adjust your way you will understand that it's a very simple thing to do protect yourself as a person whether you are a spiritualist or not protect yourself generally because there are some spirits who are wandering about they can steal your own anytime any day they can steal from you and at the end of the day once they come from outside to steal like that, when the consultation is being done on you, reading or checking or whatever you know it to be, is being done on you, it will be very difficult to find out that yours has been stolen by a strange spirit. It is very, very difficult to find out such a uh, thing during consultation if you are not deep in this field. Thank you as you understand this and do it.